Okay, so this is how you add movies to XBMC. Uh, first thing is you have to know where your movie folder is. So mine is in my external hard drive. And I'm going to add horror films. I already have some movies in it. Okay, so you want to open up XBMC. <clears throat> so when you're at videos you want to go to files and then well these are some I've already added uh, your view you might have to change it might look like that uh, but I'm already set it to thumbnails so you won't already have these I, I added all these different genres so so you go to add video and now you're going to browse for the folder that you're looking for now um, mine's on my G drive and I'm going to add the horror films so whatever your folder is called and then you'll get the screen when you click on it and then hit OK it'll give you the option now to name the folder but I've already named it so that's OK I'm going to hit OK and now it's given the option to scan and it'll add thumbnails and information about all your movies so I'm going to pick movies because that's what it is and just hit OK and now I'm going to say yes to that scan you have to be connected to the internet because now it's taking in all this information from the internet and if you find that some of the movies don't it doesn't show up the proper thumbnail it still has the old picture uh, you might have to go onto your movie folder and rename the movie and just put the movie name only sometimes it has other things in front of the name and then it doesn't pick up the movie name okay so here it is here so when I go into horror movies now, all my movies are here. And you can right click and go to movie information. It gives you the information, tells you about the film. And you can also click and it'll view trailers. Okay. And now if I want to add a thumbnail like the rest I did, you right click choose thumbnail and you have to have a picture you can download it from the internet copy and paste it onto your desktop or something uh, so you have to browse now I have a I have pictures saved in my G drive uh, let me see I named the folder uh, where is it ah my mistake, I think it's in the F drive. Yeah, XBMC picks. Okay. So, um. There we are, horror. So, you just click on that, and there you go. It has a nice thumbnail to your folder picture. So, it all looks a lot better. Uh, one more little thing is when you go into your movies um, let me see which one is widescreen uh, let me see Spider-Man is widescreen, ok so if you're like me and you don't like the black bars at the top and the bottom of the screen the best way to fix that, because a lot of movies that you download now have that format. So the best way to fix that right now is to um, close that down, go back to your home, go all the way across to system, then down to settings, uh, go to video, and then playback. And then where it says allow error and asterisk ratio to maximum black bars. What you want to do is click it on this side 
Now click it on this side then. There you go. And put it to 20%. And now that that's at 20%, close that down. Let's go back to the home page and go back to videos and files. And let's go back to Spider Man and resume. And as you can see, the black bars are a lot smaller. And you can put the percentage right up to the top if you don't want them at all. But the more you put it up, the more picture you're losing at the sides. So I think 20% is a good spot. It makes it watchable. Okay, and I think that's about it. You can do that with your TV shows as well, and your music, and your pictures. And... Yeah. Oh, and every time you add a new movie to your movie folder, you just go to whatever folder is in, right click, and scan for new contents. It'll just run a scan, and if there's a new movie, it'll pick it up and add the thumbnail to it. Uh, and when you're in your movie folders, if it doesn't look like that, again go to the left and this menu will pop out and make sure it's on thumbnails because if not, it might look some other way. So, you see like that there. So you can decide which way you want it. But I think thumbnails is probably the best. You can have it whatever way you want. So, I'm going to stick with thumbnails and yeah that should do quality is excellent you can watch full HD movies Okay, and um, what else? Let me see. That's about it. Oh yeah, um, you can right click on the movie file. Go to movie information. And it gives you all the information about it. You can go to the cast. You can, And you can actually view the trailers. When you click on view the trailer, it'll open a link directly into YouTube and show you a preview for the movie so if you want to, if someone wants to decide if they want to watch it or not it takes you right to the preview and streams it straight off YouTube so that's very handy and then just hit stop take you back to the sc your movie again and that's it and just uh, at the top just hit this arrow to go back and that takes you back out to your folders and you can just go into the next one and that's it so that's everything you can just add as many movies as you want okay